Hey guys, it's Jessie V. Today I have an interesting story for you. I am going to tell you about the time that I sort of catfished somebody. And I know that sounds bad, okay? But just give me a second to explain because you might actually agree with what I did. But before I get into this story, I just want to express how annoyed I am because I ordered this awesome Christmas sweater like all the way back in October. And guys, guess what I got in the mail yesterday? The Christmas sweater. And it's not Christmas anymore. So basically I paid to wear something in my video because I thought it was a cute sweater and it's too late now. So now I gotta wait till next year. Who takes three months to ship something? What's going on? But I'll show it to you anyways. It's so cute. It says, I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. It's the quote from Elf. You guys know the quote from Elf. And it's so cozy. Like I really wanted to wear this over the break but now I can't so Go over there. I'm not even gonna tell you guys where I bought it because I'm not gonna give this company any sort of advertisement because they suck. <laughs> All right, so this happened back when I was in grade 12. My best friend had a boyfriend who was a huge cheater and everyone knew it but her. She almost refused to believe it. Girls in my class talked about how he always messaged them all these flirtatious things and always asked them out on like dates and stuff. I've even seen messages on their phone from him. Like I've seen the actual messages. He was so Oh, disgusting. He literally had no respect for his girlfriend who happened to be my best friend. And you know when someone's hurting your best friend and you just want to call them up and be like, Hello, I will find you and I will kill you. Actually, at one point, he even asked me out on a date. He was like, What are you doing on Saturday? You busy? Want to chill? Want to hang out? If you know what I mean. And I was like, did you really just ask me that? Do you realize in your tiny brain that your girlfriend is my best friend and I I will tell her what you just told me. But honestly guys, I had sat her down so many times to talk to her about what a horrible guy her boyfriend was, but she just didn't really believe me. I was like, he asked me on a date. If that's not cheating, I don't know what is. Who knows how many other dates he's been on with girls? Why are you still with him? And her response would always be like, no, he loves me. He loves me. All the girls who are talking about him are just jealous. They want to be with him. And I was like, no, that's that's not it, no. I honestly think that she had fallen in love with him or just kind of fell in love with the idea of him because he was a really good looking guy. He was like on the football team. He was like the guy everybody wanted. So I don't know if it was lust or love, but you know how people say that love is blind? Let me tell you, love is blind. It's so hard to see what the other person is doing wrong when you love them. So I asked her, I was like, please tell me what it will take for you to leave him. What will it take? And her answer was, I have to see it for myself. She wanted to see firsthand that he was cheating on her or that he was messaging other girls. So I came up with this brilliant idea, or at least I thought it was. <laughs> Call me a bad person if you want. But all I could think about was how I wanted my friend out of this toxic relationship. So one day I went to her house and I told her this brilliant idea. I said, why don't we put together a fake Facebook profile Profile of a really attractive girl. And so we did that. We put in her bio that she went to the same school that we did. We put some like statuses on her like timeline. Like we did everything to make this Facebook page look legit as possible. And you know that Facebook setting where you can hide how many friends you have? You can kind of make it private so only you can see? We did that so that way when we added him, he wouldn't see that we had zero friends because <laughs> that would look suspicious. So the moment came when the Facebook profile was absolutely perfect. Everything looked real. At least we thought so. <laughs> so we added him. And then the suspense began. Was he gonna add her back? Was he gonna message her? We'll have to see. So while we waited, we watched a movie. My friend could not stop fidgeting because she just did not know what was gonna happen. And then about two hours later, he did accept the friend request. And the next thing we had to do was see if he would message her. And the entire day went by and he never never did. So my friend was like, See, I told you he doesn't flirt with girls. I told you. Didn't I tell you? I told you. So I was starting to think that my entire plan was just pointless. I went home and I went to bed just wondering if she'd ever really realize who he really is. But not all hope was lost, guys. Not all hope was lost, okay? Because in the morning, when I woke up, I had a message on my phone from that fake profile. He had messaged her, just like I thought 
you would. This is exactly what he said. Hey, beautiful, how have I not seen you around before? So I quickly called my friend and told her about the message. And I could tell by the tone of her voice that she was a little bit angry because I think deep down she really did not think he would message this girl. And then she said to me, Okay, like, we have to see if he'll ask her out. I still won't believe it until he asks her on a date. I was like, really? This is not proof enough? You need more proof? So she came over to my house and we continued messaging him from this fake profile. We didn't say anything flirtatious to lead him on. We kind of just replied with, yeah, I've been going to this school for the last two years or something really like casual like that. And it took a while to respond again. He took like a good three hours. So the suspense was just so much for us. But then he finally said the one thing that my friend needed to hear as proof, like she likes to say. He asked her if she wanted to meet up with him. He didn't say the word date, but he insinuated that it, he wanted to hang out with her in a more than a friend way, you know what I mean? Like he put a wink face and then he sent her his number. It's something you don't do when you're in a relationship. So my friend messaged him for another hour or so. I don't know why, like come on, that's enough proof already. But she just wanted to see if he would continue flirting and stuff and he did. He flirted for another good hour and then my friend had enough so she slammed the laptop shut and she was like, I am done. I am done with this guy. Like the evidence was right in front of her face. What else does she need? Nothing else. And I am so proud of her because that night she broke up with him. Thank goodness. After six months of being with him. That was like six months of torture. I don't know. I don't know how she did it. And guys, today, this day, she has been dating a really, really amazing guy for the last two years. Like he treats her like a princess. It's so, so cute. And she had to get out of a bad relationship to get to that. And honestly, if I had to make a fake profile and catfish someone for one day so that she could get that happiness, I would do it again. He deserved it, okay? He deserved it. I know that's not the craziest catfish story. Like, no, I didn't catfish someone for like months at a time. It was only like a one day, one to two day catfish thing, but it still technically was catfishing because we faked who we were. That's catfishing. And I actually don't even think he ever knew it was us in the end. Like, I don't think she told him that we did it. So if somehow he's watching this right now and is realizing it was him, hello there. I really hope you're being more respectful to your girlfriends. If you even have one, okay? Be a better person. But anyways, guys, that is my catfish story. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, my social media information is in the description below along with my vlog channel and my PO Box information. And I have some cool tie-dye merch and all kinds of other stuff in there as well, so check that out. And oh, oh, I got a subscribe pillow. I don't know why. I just saw this online and I was like, I want this for my videos. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. I love this. It's so soft. Okay, anyways, guys, bye.